Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video on my channel. I'm Stephanie Rose, welcome. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment below if you like videos like this. I make vlogs, lifestyle, daily, day in the life, week in my life vlogs, and I also sprinkle in some Amazon, fashion, beauty, home decor, all that good stuff on my channel. So now that it is September and I personally am in the full fall mode, even though it's still about 75 80 degrees outside that's okay because fall is here and fall is when i come alive i get excited again to make content to style outfits and i just always find so many new things around the fall time that i love this video is going to be a current favorites video and it was really hard for me to narrow down what i wanted to share because i'm seriously loving so many things right now and i will be sharing a lot of fashion things in this video and it's going to be all fall related i will however film a separate fashion favorites video that's gonna be a different video but this is gonna encompass fashion beauty lifestyle home um, and just pretty much everything else stay tuned for my fall fashion video but I hope you enjoy this one everything I mentioned as usual will be linked below in my description so enjoy and let's get into it I need my drink I always have a drink when I film whether it's coffee or matcha or water I have sparkling water today this is the watermelon lime flavor from Good and Gather. So good. I'm going to do my beauty favorites first because I wanted to talk about my favorite fragrances at the moment. If you guys know me and you watch my vlogs, you know that I am very passionate about fragrances and collecting new scents, trying new scents. So I wanted to share some fragrances that I've been loving from Dossier and they are the sponsor of this video. So thank you very much. So if you're not familiar with Dossier, then you should be because they have revolutionized the fragrance industry by making luxury fragrances accessible. They have a wide range of designer fragrance impressions that are inspired by luxury popular scents and the fragrances smell so good. They are crafted with the best ingredients from the perfume capital of the world in France and along with their range of impression perfumes. They also have their original line of perfumes that aren't inspired by other perfumes out there but rather are their own creations. All their perfumes are made in France. They're cruelty free and non-toxic. So I love the whole mission of the brand and like I said their scents smell so amazing. I have three impression scents along with one of their original scents. I'll start with the original one because this is my favorite fragrance the last three weeks since I got it. This one is Summer Crush. It's a really nice summer scent. Its top notes are watermelon, lemon, beach, breeze, accord. It smells so beautiful. Even though summer's over, it's still such a nice, refreshing, very breezy and light scent. I really like light scents all throughout the year. I'm not one to just limit myself to wearing a perfume for one season only. If I like the scent, I'll use it year round. So this is one of the scents that I feel like I'm going to keep using even in the colder months. So yeah, that's Summer Crush. And then this one is Citrus green apple and can we just appreciate the aesthetic of their bottles i love 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 how their bottles look this one citrus green apple its top notes are green apple lime and sidra middle notes are bluebell jasmine rose base notes are amber cedarwood and musk so it's a really nice citrusy scent but it does have that muskiness um as a bottom note so it smells so good oh my god this is definitely a year-long scent and this again is a really fresh and clean kind of fruity scent I love that combination of fruity uh, but not too sweet it's not too fruity because I don't really like the too sweet too fruity if you know what I mean and then this one is ambery jasmine this one is my number one favorite out of all of them the top notes are black currant pink pepper bergamot middle notes are jasmine and white flowers base notes are amber vanilla and cashmere so this is a really nice um, fall scent because I just love the amber and the vanilla, it's such a cozy, cozy, cozy scent. Oh my god. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. The last scent I have here is Woody Sandalwood. Top notes are Violet Leaves, Cardamom. Middle notes are Oris, Ambrox, Cedarwood, Cypriol. And base notes are Musk, Sandalwood, and Amber. I really like the ambery scents, if you haven't noticed. This, again, is a really good fall scent. And I will very much be wearing this into the fall. In the winter time so yeah i have been absolutely loving these scents their impression fragrances start at 29 dollars, and then their original fragrances start at 39 dollars. so if you want to check out any of the fragrances that i mentioned or explore their wide array of fragrances i do have a discount code for you guys you can check that out in my description so we're going to stick to the beauty favorites i have some skincare and makeup and body care so i wanted to mention these two lip products this is my current favorite 
lip combo right now. I've been loving the Laura Mercier Caviar Smoothing Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Peach Cashmere, and it is the perfect peach shade. I have been loving peach um, colors for lipsticks. Not only is the shade beautiful, but the consistency and the formula of the lipstick is really good. It applies smoothly, it lasts all day, and it doesn't smudge. And then I also have been loving, I feel like I've mentioned this in a favorites video last year because I used to love this lip gloss last year and then I stopped using it and I rediscovered my love for it. But this is the Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink. It's a liquid lipstick. So I like to use regular lipstick, like a you know tube lip lipstick like this, and then I like to put this over for some extra color. And I love how it's kind of like, it's not matte, but it's also not glossy either. It's kind of like in between. So I really like that. I just applied that blindly. Hopefully I don't look crazy. And then these are some body care products. This is from Murad, and this is the Acne Control, um, the pads, and then the body spray. So I don't really have body acne, but I do have keratosis on my arms, and I've been loving these. I've noticed a difference using these. These body pads are just big old pads like this that you can take and rub on wherever you need to. And then the spray is just like a leave-on spray. So every time after I take a shower and I clean my body, um, I just spritz this all over the area. It's really cooling too, so I like how it feels. But yeah, I've definitely noticed a difference with my bumps on my arms. The last two beauty things are skincare products. I have been using these religiously every single day for the past probably month. Um, this is the Indie Lee Ceramides and Squalane Oil. So yeah, it's a facial oil. I, as you can see, have been using this literally every day. It really hydrates my face so good. You need some sort of facial oil because it really helps with hydrating your skin. And this is also a great base for when I do my makeup. I don't have creases, I don't have dry skin, like I don't have cakey makeup because my face is so moisturized underneath and it's because I'm using this product. So I also use this when I use my gua sha and do all that. But yeah, pretty much every morning and night I use this. And then this is the Paula's Choice Pro Retinol Dye. What is that word? It's a retinoid treatment. So I use this every single night and I've noticed a difference. My skin looks brighter and smoother and I wake up in the morning with really bright looking skin. Okay, so now for the biggest portion of this video. I'm going to get into my fashion favorites. Stay tuned for my fall fashion favorites video because that'll be more extensive than this, but this is going to be a good little preview to that. So, alrighty, my favorite fall fashions at the moment. I'm like cracking up because I have so many clothes just piled here. I have been loving lady jackets and like cardigan sweaters like this. This isn't a, really a lady jacket. This one is. So let's start with this. Okay, I have been loving the lady jacket style, the sweaters, the jackets. I also have this jacket here, this black one and this cream one, they're both from H&M. I just picked these up and I seriously am so obsessed with this style. This one is a black tweed jacket with the silver buttons and I just feel so put together when I wear lady jackets like this. Like it just elevates your look. This is a sweater, a little cardigan. This would be so cute for work or for going out, like going to brunch, like any, anywhere. So I think these are so essential for the fall and I've been loving this style. This cream color is so beautiful. So yeah, those two are from H&M. And then this one is from Zara. Um, I love the buttons of this one. Big, beautiful gold buttons. This maroon color is very hot right now for the fall. Um, it's just so rich and beautiful and it's just so just rich looking like the color is amazing. I picked up a bunch of stuff recently at PacSun. I normally don't shop there, but I somehow ended up on the website and I found this line that they sell there. I don't know if they sell just at PacSun. Like, I don't know if it's exclusive to PacSun, but they had this whole line of clothes from this brand called John, is it John G Galt? G-A-L-T. That's what the label looks like. I think that says Galt. What I love about it is that it's really soft material. I love the style of everything. It's very just like athleisure wear, like very chic. And the prices are what sold me. This shirt was $18. This is a long sleeve ribbed gray shirt like things I would wear around the house in the fall time um, and everything is one size so I'm a size medium I'm small to medium and everything fit me perfectly so if you're like medium this could fit a large too because it has a lot of stretch to it so I'd say between small to large it would fit pretty good um, maybe even x large because like I said um, it stretches so I love the style and design of this whole line this sweater I'm wearing is actually also from um, this line too. I love the cut off of the neckline. It just seems so casual and like very cute and loungy. Um, and then I also picked up this short sleeve top. I just really love the neckline of all of these things. I think that's what really sold me. Like I like how it kind of looks like it's cut off. And it's just a cute little short sleeve tee. I don't remember how much this one was, 
I think it was under $20. I think all of these things were under $20. Um, the only thing though that wasn't under $20 was this sweatshirt that I got, again, from that line, Georgetown. I'm a DC girl, so gotta support the local school. I actually really wanted to go to the school so bad, but like, I was not a straight A student, so probably would not have gotten in. But anyway, I have worn this a few times already. I love the color and the style. I would say this is equivalent to a size X large or maybe even large. It's very comfy. The quality is so soft. This is $45, which I feel like is cheaper than most sweatshirts out there. I feel like sweatshirts are so expensive for no reason. And then the last thing I got from John Galt is this little cardigan. Again, loving the cardigans. And I love the cable knit little design of this one. Super cute. This again is one size. I think all of his things are one size but this probably fits like a medium to large. And this one was $32. So yeah, I have been loving everything from John Galt. I think this is the last clothing piece. So I just got these pants from H&M and cheetah print guys. What can I say about cheetah print? I have been loving cheetah print since I was a little girl and it stopped being popular for like 15 years. And now all of a sudden cheetah print is back to being popular. I've never stopped loving it, but I'm glad that everyone's finally recognizing how amazing cheetah print is. So I'm seeing so many cheetah print things in stores now. And so I saw these pants in H&M. I tried them on and they look amazing. I'm going to insert a video of me wearing them. I haven't worn them out yet. I just like tried them on and I filmed that little video right here. Oh my God, these fit so good. I was actually really shocked because usually H&M's pants don't fit me well. But I just love the design of it. It's a wide leg and so so cute and i got a size 38 in this us6 and it fits so good there's not really a lot of stretch to it no there's no stretch at all but this can be worn so many ways in the fall time okay we're sticking to the topic of cheetah print and we're going to move into the next category of favorites which are like home and kind of cozy self-care things so again cheetah print you guys i have been loving these pajamas they're from target it came in a set of this little short sleeve top. I actually wore these last night, <laughs> so that's why they look kind of like crumply. Um, and then it came with these shorts. I got a size medium. Oh my gosh, so soft. I love the material of these pajamas. They have a bunch of other colors and designs, so I think I want to go pick up the gray ones because that's how much I love the quality of these pajamas. But yeah, you guys, if you're looking for some cute little fun pajama sets, definitely go check these out from Target. The next cozy favorite is this blanket. I got this from Marshalls, so I don't think I can link this in my description, but next time you go to Marshalls, definitely check out this line, this brand. I think it's called Cupcakes in Cashmere. Yeah, that's what it's called. Definitely go check out the blankets for them because this is a literal dupe of Barefoot Dreams. Those blankets are very expensive. This was only, I think, $25, and it is so beautiful. Oh yeah, cheetah print also. Mm -hmm. It's like a gray and ivory cheetah print, but oh, it's so soft, you guys. I lay on the couch with this blanket every single night, and there's been times when I've fallen asleep because that's how com comfortable it is. I love this blanket. Next cozy favorite are my new slippers. They're new-ish. I got these like a month ago, but I was on the hunt for these kind of like teddy-looking um, slippers. So these are from Amazon. I think they were $20. And they had other colors, but I've also been loving brown for fall. And padding is memory foam. It's really thick. Like when I first wore them, when I first got them, it was so padded. Like my feet had to kind of mold into it, but now it's been like a month. So I've been wearing them every day and it just feels so good, you guys. I love it. Last cozy home favorite is from L'Occitane. It's a pillow mist. If you watch my vlogs, you've seen me mention this. And I keep this on my nightstand. I spray my pillows and just the whole bed every single night. It smells so good. Mm. It smells like, it smells like aromatherapy, like I'm getting a massage. So it's very relaxing. It really helps me wind down at night and just makes the bed and my room smell good. Okay, I just realized I forgot to mention a couple other things in the previous categories I mentioned. So now everything's just going to be a little bit out of order, but that's fine. We're going to just go with it. So next I want to show you guys my purse favorites. I love my bags. I want to do an updated bag collection because I have gotten a lot the past, um, past few weeks. So we're going to start off with this baby because she is beautiful and perfect in every way possible. I was inspired by Miss Leah from Love Island, the people's princess, Persian princess. I saw her wearing <clears throat> this bag in one of her Instagram posts and I fell in love. I immediately scoured the internet for one because I knew it was a vintage bag and I've always wanted a saddle bag but I just never really liked the design, the current designs that they had. Like when I saw her wear this, 
I knew this was the one this was it so I found this on fashion file it was in very good condition and I got it for a good price compared to what Dior saddlebags usually cost so I've been wearing her every time I go out at night and it is just such a cute bag I'm so happy I finally got a saddlebag I've always wanted to get one but never really wanted to pull the plug until I saw my girl Leo wear this so I love it and then this bag here is from Miu Miu. I've been loving secondhand and vintage bags. So this bag I actually got for only like $300 from Vestier. I love that app because you can make offers. So originally the seller was listing this for like 500 something and I made a kind of low offer and she accepted it. So there's a tip for you guys if you ever wanna get, you know, a bag, make an offer on the Vestier app. This is the bow bag. So it has the two little bows here and the leather still looks amazing but i kind of like that rough look to it like that kind of used worn in look and it has a little like flap up here and then the zipper and the inside is so cute it's pink on the inside i love the lining but this is in really good condition too there's no stains no smells um it just looks so good the only thing is that it didn't come with the long strap so i don't really even need it like i'll just wear it like this but guys i am just so obsessed with this i want to make this like my new fall bag because I love the color of it too. I think it's so cute for fall. So my other favorite bag that you guys have probably seen a few times before, this has been my everyday bag. I feel like these two are going to be my everyday bags. I'm going to kind of just like take turns with them. Um, but yeah, this is the Coach Brooklyn 39. I did a whole separate what's in my bag video on my YouTube channel. You can check that out if you missed it, but I love this bag. It holds so much. It's so comfortable. So update, you know, I've had this bag for maybe two months now and I'm still obsessed with it. If you want to hear me talk more about this bag, go watch my what's in my bag video. But yeah, still loving this. I forgot to mention these bracelets when I was talking about fashion. So I have been loving big chunky bangles like this. I think when you stack them up on your wrist, it just is such a cute look. Oh my gosh, like look how pretty that is. Like in the summertime, I was wearing this a lot and then also in the fall, you know, I'll still continue to wear these but these are all from Amazon they all look like really good quality these two came together I think it was about $11 for these two and then this one um, this little class bangle this was about I think $15 all right you guys I got a lot of shoes to show I am all the way through a shoe and bag type of girl I just love shoes and I love bags too so anyway okay let's start off with my favorite workout shoes at the moment I mentioned these in a vlog I love these shoes they're from on running and they're the cloud nova shoes they are so comfortable i've never had a pair of more comfortable shoes i do also have the hoka clifton nines and those were my go-to workout shoe and i thought those were comfortable no i literally have switched to these as my everyday workout shoe i run in these i walk in these i lift in these everything because they are so soft and they make running so comfortable like i feel like that's why i'm good at running now is because i finally found the perfect running shoes so yeah, I just love the style of them too. I wear them every day, not just for working out. I wear them when I run errands, grocery store, like whatever. I wear these literally every single day. These are another sneaker that I love. These are for fashion. I don't work out in these, but I love the chunky platform of these Reeboks. These were about, I think, $86. The Cloud Novas were $160. Definitely worth the price. I feel like this would also be good for like a back to school shoe for your kids. Um, or just like a nice school shoe to walk around in because they are comfortable. I've worn them a couple times out and walked a lot in them and they've been really comfortable and they look really cute with baggy jeans. That's how I've been wearing them and I just love the cream color of them. It's not like a true white. They're a little bit cream, kind of like eggshell white, off-white and I love it and I love the black logo here. They also have a light blue which I thought was really pretty as well but I thought with this I could wear this with more outfits so I've been loving these as well I just got these in the mail from Amazon and I have not stopped wearing them because of how soft they are they are a big chunky shoe and they are a dupe of the Ugg ones that were really popular last year Amazon has a lot of really good shoes like this for the fall time and I love the like Sherpa material of this it's so soft and it feels so good you guys I wear these around the house I'm debating if I should make these an outside shoe or just an inside shoe I might just make this an inside shoe because they're so soft and so comfortable last pair of shoes are these loafers that I just got from Zara they're suede which is another really big trend for the fall I think that's probably the biggest trend I've seen. So these are little penny loafers. They're very comfortable. I've worn these a couple times already and I just love how just chic they look. You can wear these with so many different outfits, skirts, pants, whatever. 
and it's a really good work shoe if you work in the office I would totally wear these if I still worked in the office but even though I don't I still wear these out so really nice with jeans too for a really casual but still put together look okay and then this is I guess kind of a footwear related thing but I just got these socks from Ralph Lauren and it's the little teddy bear ones so adorable I have been trying to get these socks since last year I think they were sold out last year because they went viral so I finally got them this year and they're so cute so I like to wear these with things like the loafers I actually wore an outfit with those loafers and these socks I'll insert a video of myself wearing that here also I'm doing 30 days of fall outfits on my TikTok, so I'm gonna post a new outfit every single day for 30 days so if you don't follow me on TikTok, definitely follow me so you can get some outfit inspo ideas one last favorite again I forgot to mention this when I was talking about my beauty favorites this is the current body LED light therapy mask again if you watch my vlogs you are probably sick of me talking about this mask because I always rave about it and I'm so obsessed with this mask and I feel like it's truly transformed my skin this past summer I got it a few months ago and I've been using it three to five times a week. That's what they recommend. You can use it every day if you want. I try to, but sometimes I forget. So yeah, three to five days is what I aim for. But guys, I really noticed a difference in my skin. My skin looks so much more youthful and alive and less dull. And I just, I just feel like I look more bright in my face. If you're not familiar with red light therapy, it helps to target your skin cells deep inside your, inside your skin. So it really targets those skin cells and it helps produce collagen and that you know leads to younger looking skin and helps with wrinkles and all that so definitely recommend this mask i'm still loving it it's probably my most favorite facial product at the moment and it will probably be for a while okay i'm looking around seeing if i have any more favorites oh yep we got one more favorite this is the last thing guys i swear so this is a travel item it is this toiletry bag from this company called bag smart and it is just the coolest thing because it literally fits every single beauty product you need for traveling. And I have it packed because I stayed at my parents' house a few days ago and I packed literally everything with me. So it has these four sections. It has this one on this side and you can fit so much stuff in there. And I like how it has all these divisions. So I could put like my hair products in one of these, my skincare products and body care products in one. And then on the sides, it has bigger pockets. So on this outer pocket, I have, where's the zipper? There it is. I have like basic toiletry things, toothbrush, deodorant, toothpaste, shampoos. And then on this side, I have my makeup. And it has little slots here for your brushes and then these little compartments here for your makeup products. So it's just such a really nice, very convenient toiletry bag. It has a nice little handle here and it's literally everything you ever need. I feel like this would also be good for college if you have like shared bathrooms. I remember when I was in college, we used to have to carry around caddies to the bathroom because they were shared. Like you didn't have your own bathroom in the freshman dorms. So maybe that'll be good for that too. But yes, I love this for traveling. Just wanted to share with you guys if you're looking for a good toiletry bag. Alrighty, so that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Everything will be linked in my description. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.